Bharat Small Satellite Launch Vehicle or the SSLV is all set to soar into space for the second time and this will happen on Friday with three new satellites. The SSLV D2 will be the second developmental mission of the nation's indigenously built rocket after an unsuccessful maiden trip to space that happened in August 2022. Its target would be to inject three satellites into space, the EOS-07, Janus-1 and the Azadi Sat-2. Within 13 minutes of its launch from Sriharikota, the rocket will inject the first satellite EOS-07 into orbit, followed by the other two within a gap of a minute each. All of them will be placed into a circular orbit around the Earth at an altitude of about 450 kilometers during this 15-minute flight. Built by 750 girl students of 75 schools across India, Azadi Sat will also be one of the three satellites that will be launched. And a short while ago, I interacted with some of the architects of Azadi Sat. I have Dr. Srimati Kesan, uh, who's champion of the Space Kids program. And we also have some bright young students from two of the schools that have participated in this entire endeavor to try and put a satellite in space. And this satellite, this payload is going to be carried by the SSLV rocket that's going to be launched uh, from Sriharikota by ISRO. So the countdown has begun. I have some kids from Ladol in uh, Gujarat. And then we also have kids from the St. Francis School now, Dr. Srimati Kesan, where is the St. Francis School? And this, I'm given to understand this entire endeavor was a Kashmir to Kanyakumari endeavor. 750 girls, students. How did this happen? <laughs> it, was a, it was a dream, I should say, you know, to bring in, uh, connect all the girl children from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. You know, uh, in fact, I wanted to do this as a physical session where, you know, bring in all the 750 to Chennai and teach them the entire nuances of building the satellite. What is a satellite? What is a rocket? What is a payload? And, you know, teach them everything and then get this payload built. But unfortunately, due to COVID, we had to do everything online, you know, but wow. nevertheless, I did not want to step back. And, uh, you know, when I gave this proposal, uh, I was in the ICCO and I gave the proposal from there and I said, I am not going to kick the bucket before we launch this satellite. I have to get this done. And I was so thrilled that ISRO accepted our proposal. Tell us what is this satellite about and what is it that these girls have built? Okay. Before I get chatting with them. This is basically a communication satellite. And uh, the highlight of it is we wanted to uh, get these children understand, you know, what is space, what is a satellite. They, it is not a very big payload that they have built. It's simple payloads. But anything that is built hands-on, you know, that remains in there for their forever. So that is the mm. impact we wanted to create. And I would say this is more than a scientific journey. It is building a character entirely of theirs. You know, girls mm. only coming out and doing something. Because yes. uh, we've, got in, we've got children from uh, interior villages wherein uh, parents did not allow them for the extra class also. I'm having uh, children from Ladol, Gujarat, and I'm having uh, St. Francis, uh, Sikandrabad, Telangana. So I'm having mm. these two schools here uh, who are joining so, us. So Gujarat, Gujarat in the West and Telangana in the South, and there are two different groups. So let's talk, let's try and talk to Gujarat. Game cho, maja macho, tame. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste, Jai Sri Krishna. Now, you tell me how did you work this project and what work did you do? What did you do? Uh, what is your contribution to this satellite? We participated uh, in Azadi Set Satellite Launching Project and felt like scientists. We got uh, information about the uh, importance of satellites and how it's work in uh, our life. Lovely. And uh, then PM Modi Sahib ka mili. Uh, 10th June ko uh, Ahmedabad Bhopal Isro Space uh, Space Center mein. तो फिर उन्होंने क्या पूछा आपसे? जो हमने वो payload बनाया था वो कैसे work करता है और उसमें क्या क्या है वो सब uh, मुझे uh, नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने पूछा था. तो गुजराती में समझायो कि हिंदी में बोला और did you explain it in English? मैंने उनको सब गुजराती में ही समझाया था. 
तो वाडाप्रधान ने क्या बोला फिर उनको मैंने जब गुजराती में समझाया तो उनको बहुत गर्व हुआ और मुझे बहुत शाबाशी शाबाशी दी और उन्होंने कहा कि आप इस इस वर्क में आगे बढ़ते रहो और गुजरात का नाम देश का नाम भारत का नाम पूरे वर्ल्ड में रोशन करो हम्म तो अब आप मुझे बताइए व्हाट इज अलोड समझाइए मुझे व्हाट इज पेलोड चलिए आपका टेस्ट लेते हैं हाँ वो हमारे पेलोड हमारा पेलोड था उसमें वन ग्रीन कलर का माइक्रो कंट्रोलर था जैसे इंसान में दिमाग काम करता है वो शरीर को शरीर को कंट्रोल करता है जैसे सैटेलाइट में वो ग्रीन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एज अ माइंड के जैसे कंट्रोल करता है और उसमें हमारे पेलोड में दो सेंसर थे एक था आई सेंसर और एक था एनवायरमेंट uh, सेंसर वो दो सेंसर स्पेस uh, में जब सैटेलाइट जाएगा रॉकेट में uh, जब वो स्पेस में जाएगा तो वो एनवायरमेंट सेंसर वो स्पेस के आसपास वो सब एनवायरमेंटल इम्यूनिटी टेम्परेचर प्रेशर ये I... सब डिटेक्ट uh, करके वो अर्थ uh, को ट्रांसमिट करेगा नाउ लेट्स गो टू सेंट फ्रांसिस स्कूल तेलंगाना नमस्कार Now you please tell me what is it that you built. One of you can tell me what is it that you built. We are the Indrums and Francis. So we have started working on this payload for last one year, and this was been such a wonderful experience for us as uh, total seven to seven to three seven to five schools are participating and seven to three girls are we taking part in this. The team has uh, helped us very much in uh, programming the uh, in programming the satellite. They have sent us the payloads, and uh, firstly they have sent us a link, and they have the, uh, taught us how to connect this payload. Then they have given us some guidelines, and following that guidelines, we were successful in connecting the payload, and we have uh, checked the temperature and humidity. We were successful, and finally we have sent these payloads to the team. And finally, from 75 schools, they were they collected all the payloads. And then now we are very excited that the payloads which we have programmed are going into space. Apart from that, uh, being the presidency, uh, you know, of the G20 countries this time, we were proud to send the G20 logo up. You know, in wow. Space. So nobody has done that. You know, we wanted to do this for our country, and uh, you know that's we, we, that's another speciality, I should say. And apart from that, uh, you know, a nice space song. we have come up with a beautiful space song where in a village girl dreams you know we've taken uh, tanvi as an example and uh, like tanvi all these kids as an example who dreams to go to space so we wanted to bring the little little details of space in that song and that was uh, composed by uh, dsp the rockstar dsp and oh uh, yes yes oge <laughs> tamia थैंक यू सो मच इज बीन सो वंडरफुल स्पीकिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सेंट फ्रांसिस इन तेलंगाना बी एस पटेल केंद्रीय विद्यालय इन लाडोल डॉक्टर श्रीमती के सन थैंक यू सो मच Your heart swells with pride, doesn't it? 750 girls are going to put that have developed that Azadi Sat 2, which is now going to be launched into orbit. 9:18 a.m. is the launch from Sri Hari Kota on Friday morning. You can witness it right here on CNN News 18. With that, I call it a wrap on this edition of the Right Stand. Zakar ready with brass tacks.